You guys have seen on social media maybe that James Gordon, uh, who does his carpool, is actually not driving the car, but he's being pulled uh, by another vehicle. And let me just tell you that Ben is the real deal. He is safe, and we have been on the road obeying all the laws of the land. So, real deal. I do my own stunts, people. <laughs> Welcome to Carpooling with Ben, folks. It's a beautiful time of year to, you know, take in a nice, refreshing swim. Do something crazy. Go insane for the humane, or insanity for humanity, as uh, the good Sir Tyler Nobis has branded it. Mm. Sojourn Ministries, uh, is it just Rhode Island, or is it a it's New England? It's actually in Boston as well. So we okay. have, like, five campuses in Boston as well. Tyler Nobis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be, to be uh, in Ben's car. This is a famous place. So. Well, you know, I, 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 I try. I try. But you have been doing this for uh, a number of years, actually coming up on the ninth annual Polar yes. Plunge. Uh, and, and this is something very special. Before we talk about the event, talk to me about the, the ministry and, and the program, the organization you're with. Yeah. Uh, so we work with college students. Uh, we feel like college students so often don't. Um, well, those taboo, taboo subjects, uh, politics, religion, and we just don't talk about it. And because of that, I don't think students know how to talk about hard issues. And so we want to be a group that tackles hard issues where you can agree and disagree, but at least have a safe place to question, and um, especially with faith. I feel like faith is so often a, a thing you just don't want to talk about, yet it's the most important thing to at least figure out if you um, are interested in that. And so we want to create a safe place to do that, as well as teach our students to live justly, which is exactly why we do this event, trying to teach students to love people better because let's be honest college can be a very selfish time where you just kind of think about yourself what are you going to do what's sure. your career if we can get students to look up and to look at other people and to help other people I mean they're full of energy and they're young and they're idealistic and, and we need more people like that so, so your accent necessarily isn't one of a Cranston Warwick oh, accent no. it's a little I want to say westerly, or maybe somewhere a little, little more southwest. Just, it is uh, right smack in the middle of the, uh, the country, Illinois. That's where okay. I'm from. So I think part, I'm from the south. I'm what, not what, from the south. Well, it's all right. You, I, don't know, I mean, people think I have a twang. You, you look, you look great just the same. I mean, oh, obviously, the the I, lovely I, Lauren fell in love with you, and I, uh, I tricked her. It was awesome. Yeah. I've been trying to become a local Rhode Islander forever. You guys are hard to accept uh, outside of that. Well, what's your take on coffee milk? Okay, I actually love coffee. I was I was on board right away. Okay. So uh, Dell's, Dell's Lemonade, do you drink it Love with a it. straw or are you uh, a swish the cup? Uh, I'm a swish the cup. Okay, I'm, all right. There you go. We can, we can make that happen. These are good quizzes. I like this. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, just trying to keep it honest here, ladies okay. and gentlemen. We want honesty. Wow. So, I mean, you're you're assimilating well into the Thank Rhode Island lifestyle. Thank you. I've been trying for nine years trying to and, be accepted. And despite your incredible, warm, and generous personality, mm. you're trying to get that cold heart that most of us have by jumping in the exactly. ocean coming up. So talk to me about this event and what it, what it's raising funds for. So we are raising money for an organization called International Network of Hearts. I love it because our students actually uh, go down every year for spring break, and we take the money down into this organization down in Rosarito, Mexico. And so okay. we go down there. It's an organization that helps fight but also um, house and has a safe house for survivors of sex trafficking. And oh, wow. so these these kids I'm serious like we go down there and these kids are from the ages of 5 to 18 Jeez. and so when you see a 5 year old who's gone through the trauma that they have and yet are still life giving and want to you know play with our, our students and our students like go in there thinking they're going to help them and every year our students walk away like these students have so much life and energy and outlook on life that's just positive and it just shows you the power of this organization but just the power of I think what kids can do uh, in this in this uh, society so it's an organization that is so much for these kids especially provide a safe place for them to grow and to get counseling and um, even actually some of these kids are actually in the safe house because their parents have sold them into sex trafficking for money wow. and so they're actually prosecuting their parents and so they're in the safe house to kind of go through the court system to kind of prosecute their parents and so it's 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 heavy and yeah. yet at the same time my favorite place in all the world yeah. and so we do that well, every year so you do this polar plunge. It's coming up in yep. February, February twenty yep. second, okay. Saturday. Where? What? What beach are we? Uh, what waters are we taking? On? North Kingstown Town Beach. Okay. I think it's a perfect place because you go run under the water and then you go right into this warm place where we have Iggy's is catering it once again. Trying to become a Rhode Island. I'm trying to. That's perfect. I know. I'm trying to bring as much as we can. So we have free chowder and we'll have uh, doughboys and clam cakes and that's all donated by um, Iggy's. Iggy's. They Good do a people. lot for us, which is great. And then we also 
um, have prizes that are donated by the local community, and we raise as much money as we can to take down to Mexico with us. So. That's so, so it's awesome. it's helping also local college students learn what it means to give back and to, so I think it's, it's going to Mexico at the same time it's helping local college students right here in the state learn what it means to, to give generously and to um, sacrifice even a little bit of their warmth in order to give back. Well, it's it's also something, too, where you're giving them such a lesson. I mean, don't get me wrong. we got great colleges and universities in and around yeah. southern New England, especially here in Rhode Island and in Massachusetts, mm-hmm. and they get great educations here. You guys take them with Sojourn, and you, you give them an even greater lesson, an even bigger kind of, you know, world view, uh, and I'm sure they contribute to to the learning process and and just the problem solving in general through the experience here. What does sojourn mean? It actually means journey. So we think everybody's on a journey of life trying to figure it out. And so, so often we think, especially faith, it's only for those that are super committed. And I think faith is something, it's just, it's a a journey that we're all on trying to figure out why we're here, what's our purpose. And we want to help college students figure out what that purpose is. Mm -hmm. Um, And so there's so many, I mean, our students, some of our students have never entered a church, never heard anything about uh, faith, and yet love the aspect of them trying to figure out why they're here, what do they want their life to be known for, and we want to help them figure that out. Okay. So this trip and this event, everything we do is geared towards, if we could love people really well, I think that's when you find purpose, honestly, yeah. when you look outside yourself, and so that's powerful. So that, I love the insanity for humanity. Let's teach people how to do things that are completely insane, because that's what you have to do sometimes to love people well. It's going outside the normal, to love people well, yep. and so I try to live my life like that. We try to get our college students to live our life like that. So. You had a very uh, interesting video promo, which we will link. Perfect. Uh, you tried some crazy things. Yep. Some. How did that go for you by way of you know medical care? Yeah, I uh, I survived the, it. The, the beard is still intact. It exactly. is. It is a little gray now, but <laughs> I'll be honest. My wife uh, did it with us and the whole time. Um, you know my wife. She's yes, a little yep. uh, phenomenal photographer. Phenomenal, great person. Amazing. Uh, she also loves to be safe, and so she married me, and that's been a whirlwind of events for her. So the whole time she was just like, "This is a bad idea." And my mom <laughs> called afterwards too when I posted it, and was like, "You're an idiot." And I was like, "You know what? We do a lot of insane things to help people. So even if it's almost lighting my eyebrows on fire." So. Well, well, I'm glad. I'm glad I can be here to, to keep you safe. There's no open flame in the car here. The Camry it. of Wonder, but yeah. folks. Learn more about Sojourn Rhode Island. It truly, in a, it just it really is a wonderful organization. Thank you, thank you. You guys are doing such amazing things when it comes to you know the 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 young adults as they begin you know really their life path of career through mm-hmm. college and, and into career. Folks, come on out. Whether you're going to jump in or just support financially, uh, the help is there. Or if you've got a maybe you have a business that wants to get involved and sponsor, reach out to Tyler because yeah. uh, they will gladly take. The shkodol, the clams, you know, send it on over February 22nd. Don't miss it. Tyler, thanks so much for dropping in the car. Good to see you. you. And uh, I think now, because trying to assimilate you more into the Rhode Island esque lifestyle, I think I will take you to Federal Hill. Maybe we'll go to Panahino. Love it. Um, Then afterwards, you know, it's it's just a good. just you love spas? I said local spots. I oh, I thought you said I love spas. I'm like, well, it's a restaurant, but. <laughs> Let me find the local spots here. Show me the secrets. I will do what I can. <laughs>